when uh, my friend and colleague, Geraldine Aikman, called me up and said, I want to do a book of your photographs. And my first response was, you're kidding. Uh, and then, of course, I said, well, uh, yeah, um, Geraldine is a very uh, talented artist, graphic designer. You know, and I'm not the smartest guy in the world, but when somebody like Geraldine wants to do a, uh, a project with you, you know, even I know you say yes. So uh, that was uh, 14 months ago. And these photographs, from what I read, uh, started on Instagram. And what was the idea behind posting them? Uh, the idea was to convince my cousins in New Jersey that to come on vacation and visit me in Maine. Uh, and I'm happy to say that two of them have actually made it up to visit. Uh, and I think that was because I posted a lot of pictures of lobster rolls and it got them hungry. Uh, <laughs> but you know what? Results count. I'm going to take the points. Uh, but that's how all this kind of started. Your latest one is about the Seashore Trolley Museum. That's been around since 1939. So, so how did you go into that with a fresh take on it? Well, uh, you know, the Trolley Museum is a pretty amazing place. Uh, like you said, founded in 1939, the largest collection of public transportation vehicles in the world, uh, trolleys going and streetcars going back to the, you know, 1884, I believe, from all over the world. And it's right here in Southern Maine. And, you know, I went there as a kid on field trips and it was great. Uh, then I stopped by a couple of times and suddenly I have a couple thousand photographs. Now, if, uh, you know, fortunately, Geraldine reeled it in because that, could, that book could have been as thick as the Manhattan phone book. For those of us, myself included, who have not been to this museum yet, although it looks incredible, what are you hoping to show to people who just sort of flip through your book? It's a special place, uh, not just in Maine, not just in New England, but, uh, you know, in the world. And it's right here. Uh, so it was, uh, you know, every time I visit, you know, another 200 pictures go into the books. So it's just one of those places that every time you go, you see something new. I saw in your book, you've got uh, the U.S. Mail Railway for the post office. Uh -huh. You had one of the buses for, that used to run its route through Auburn. You have a yeah. lot of different things that you showcase in this museum. Was there anything that that really stood out as a favorite, something you thought was fascinating? Oh, I was afraid you were going to last that. And, uh, and I, you know, that's a tough call, but I guess I would have to say, since I've been thinking about it for a bit, um, the brass bed or the golden chariot, which is from Montreal. And I took a ride on it with uh, two friends of mine, one of whom who grew up in Montreal. And every summer when they took it out, her uncle took her, and she was the first person on that uh, trolley when they took it out in the 60s, I believe. But anyway, it was part of her childhood. And now she lives in Kennebunk. Uh, the, the trolley that from her childhood is in Kennebunk Port. And I got to ride on it with them on Canada Day. So that one, you know, I always pretty warm to my heart. But that's, that's a tough call. And, uh, you know, I, I hope I answered that adequately. <laughs> you did. And it's okay to have a few favorites. Oh, uh, there's, there's a lot. It's pretty cool. You know, we kind of already talked about this, but I just wanted to wrap up with this. Your photos initially on Instagram were to entice the cousins to come visit Maine. But yes. of the four books in your series, who do you who would you say these are for? It is for people from away. Uh, you know, I, I want people to know what a special place we have here in Maine. But what's been really uh, interesting is there are people who live right here in Maine who haven't seen some of these places. Or, uh, and one of the nicest things that uh, people have said is, we've driven by that a hundred times and we didn't know it was there or we've never seen it like that. Uh, when people say that to you, you know, that makes you say, all right, maybe, you know, maybe this is uh, something that's got a chance.